What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Scott Gearman. Scott, Dodgers breaking the ice here in free agency, adding pitcher Ricky Venasco. Was the team last season, but opted for free agency. Um, Here's the background on Venasco, Scott, and then we can react to what you think this means for the Dodgers. This guy was a 15th round pick back in 2017, although made way more in signing bonuses than a traditional 15th rounder Mm -hmm. from the Texas Rangers. Fastball jumped up as high as 99.6 miles an hour, but in 2020 has Tommy John surgery, misses all of 2020, misses all of 2021, comes back in 22 with the Rangers and is not very good. 2023 rough start ends up trading him to the Dodgers in a prospect swap. Has a good year with the Dodgers, though. 29 innings pitched between double and triple A. Just four earned runs and 42 strikeouts. He's got one option year, maybe two if they appeal for it. But the interesting thing to me, Scott, is this. This guy has 5.1 innings pitched at triple A. Has zero innings pitched at the major league level. And for a team with the 40-man roster crunch, the Dodgers, they're now up to 39 guys on the 40-man because Venasco gets a major league contract. How do you make sense of the Dodgers giving this contract to this player? Yeah. So, you know, Venasco, uh, just to kick off that he's a big right arm. Like he's, you know, pre Tommy John, he was triple digit fastball guy. He possesses a big, you know, it profiles as a very, a hammer type curveball mid eighties, which is, you know, that's, that's a hard curveball. So it's, it's a bullpen arm. He's a bullpen yeah. piece. And it, to, for the Dodgers to protect him from that, you know, uh, says a lot about him. You know, going back to when he was a Ranger, he rose up to 14th on their prospect ranks. So he's a guy they valued very highly. It just didn't pan out, got hurt. You know, he worked back in. He just never found that fastball velocity that he had. And this past year, he was touching you know, 98, 99. So that is in in there, isn't it? like in his arm, like he's finding yeah. that back in there. So, you know, I'm not going to say it's a diamond in the rough, but this is one the Dodgers felt strongly enough to give him a yeah. major league contract. He got 900,000, so a little bit over major league minimum. So it's definitely, you know, a dart throw, but with how he performed last year, it's a heck of a dart throw. Yeah. And again, the interesting thing to me is just a guy who's only thrown five innings at AAA has yeah. never been at the major league level and then just gets a major league guaranteed deal for a team again, who, it now has one open spot on the 40 man. And we're going to get to kind of what that might mean for some other names on. There's a couple of relievers that might be a little nervous yeah. after this signing, but I'm with you. I mean, look, the, the arm is lively. Anytime you've got a guy who can throw 99, there's value in that. He's a young guy um, at one point pre 2020 was kind of a riser in prospect circles. Not that he was a top 100 guy, but he seemed like, Hey, coming out of high school straight to, sort of the Texas Rangers organization. Maybe there was the potential of, of his stock to grow. Injuries kind of derail it. Again, you have Tommy John in 2020, come back in 2022, struggle. That all kind of makes sense. And so for the Dodgers, they can k- take the lottery ticket in 2023 and beyond because he's new to them. I'm just surprised that they make this move. And yet, I'm a, I'm a believer in the Dodgers system. Whatever they see in this guy to go and trade for him last year and then now to give him a major league deal to keep around – these are the like how many relievers have we see have we seen come through the Dodgers organization? Ryan Brazier last year, even Phil Bickford, mm-hmm. who wasn't you know perfect, Evan Phillips. These are all guys that were discarded somewhere else, and the Dodgers figure something out. Venasco with the velocity, the athleticism seems like the perfect kind of next in line guy for that category. Yeah, great points. I, I think it says a ton about uh, they. There's not a lot of miles on his arm, you know, yeah. post Tommy John. So I, they, they probably see that. They've seen a couple of misses. Guys leave the organization. Uh, names are escaping me at the moment, but I think the Dodgers uh, um, have a spot for him. Yeah, and I think you know with that one option year, that's a very valuable thing. You know, pay him, keep him around. Don't let him hit the open market. Don't let him pick another team. Uh, get him on the forty man. You know, yeah, think highly of him. Keep him around. No need to let him go. Big fastball, uh, and they'll need that. They'll need the youth there. I think his, his stuff is definitely going to play. Let's keep it rolling. Um, but to his ranks with the Texas Rangers, so you're not going to see a guy that profiles as a pure reliever going at, yeah. like, just like you said, if he's shooting way up, that's just because his stuff is that good. He's not going to crack top 10, stuff like that. But for the Dodgers, you know, he's, he's a little bit older, I think 20, 25, 26, 25, 20, I think. 25. So, you know, young arm. Like he's yeah. got a lot, a lot left in the tank there. Six, three, one eighty. Um, keep him around there. See if he's probably going to start the year at triple a, 
Uh, and then, you know, if there's a spot, you know, there's a few spots with the 40 man. And I know you have a, a few to talk about. Uh, yeah, definitely. We can start flat uh, right off the rip with Victor Gonzalez, Yancy Almonte, a couple interesting names. Yeah. And and it's worth pointing out with uh, Venasco, the Dodgers outrighted him last year. So they actually had him on the 40 man, let him go and mm-hmm. then brought him back because he cleared waivers. So important note. But yes, my second question with this, too. I see this and I say, OK, they're at 39 spots on the 40 man roster. We all think they need to sign at least two starting pitchers. Uh, we all think they need to sign Shohei Otani. They might need to sign somebody that can play the outfield as yeah. well. There's four. They have one spot on the 40-man, which to me is is screaming. Is there 40-man movement incoming and who is in danger? I think relief pitchers are the category that I want to highlight first. I do think I've said before on the position player side, I, I personally would be surprised if Austin Barnes and Hunter Fiducia are both on the 40-man roster by the time the season begins. Fiducia just protected. Um, I, I That seems like four catchers, including Diego Cartaya, to keep on the 40-man seems like a lot. So I think one of those guys maybe gets moved in a trade. Yorbeet Vivas is a guy who was added to the 40-man roster and just hasn't really, like, the stock hasn't kept up with maybe his prospect capital. So he could be another guy moved in a trade. But on the pitching side, there's four relief pitchers that I think probably saw this notification come through on social media and weren't super excited about it. Uh, Brian Hudson is one. I think he's probably the guy on the 40 man. Who's maybe the low man on the totem pole. Gus Varland, another minor league pitcher that, that Varland, both these guys made major league appearances for the Dodgers. Varland was picked in the rule five and then the Brewers sent him down, came back to Los Angeles. So both those guys I think would be a little nervous. And then two pitchers who are major league pitchers have contributed, have been positive contributors, but who have no options remaining are Victor Mm -hmm. Gonzalez, who you mentioned and Yancy Almonte. Um, both of those guys, we'll see what the Dodgers decide to do. They can't send them down. Those guys don't have minor league options. We mentioned Venasco has one and probably could apply and get a second. Most people think due to some injury stuff that he has gone through. And so Hudson, Gonzalez, Varland, and even Yancy Almonte, I think are four names just to keep an eye on when it comes to 40 man roster spots. Yeah, definitely. You know, Yancy for me is, is one who I believe, I really believe that, uh, they'll keep him around just because he's had that track record. If you look at his yeah. you know career by date, he's had, you know, one good year, one bad year, one good year, one bad year. And this one was, was really troubling considering how much they lean on them in 22. Um, Victor Gonzalez is one that either get, you know, gets put in a trade or that's just a tough one to see them outright him if they do. Yeah. So, but, um, we've seen a few relievers last year. Kyle Hurt was a definitely an interesting name. People wanted to yeah. see him right away he came up blew the doors down and people yeah. wanted him right away so there are arms chomping at the bit knocking on the door yeah. uh so that crunch is going to be like they understand that they have a pretty loaded thing we haven't even talked about guys coming back you know where yeah. jp fire Eisen's at you know bruce dark router will take took a step into a big role blake trinan's yeah. back in the fold so that bullpen it's it's crunch it down man so we'll yeah. see how that goes so that you just like to your point there's you know four spots uh it's it's gonna get dicey yeah, and look, there's rumors of interest in Joe Kelly potentially coming back just on a lower mm-hmm. number than the team option. Ryan Brazier is a guy who had a lot of success with the Dodgers that I wouldn't be shocked to see if the Dodgers sort of gave that phone call um, to him and, and said, hey, we want you to come back and we find a number. And so, again, you've yeah. just got to figure some of this stuff out. And even if it's a name that you like and a guy that you're impressed with, Victor Gonzalez is a useful player to have around. If you've got no options and the Dodgers look at him and say, hey, we don't think he's going to be on our major league roster the entire season, which the last few years have told us they don't think that about him, then he could be a guy on the outside looking in. Yancy, I'm with you. Just the ceiling that he has from two years ago would would make it hard for me to want to give up on him quite yet, yeah. even as bad as last year was. But again, I, I've just been saying it for the last four months. They've got a 40-man crunch coming. Um, we think they're going to add like five new players to this group. They've only got one spot. That means four players need to be moved off of the 40-man. Guys yeah. can't be put on the 60-day IL until season begins. And so they've got a lot of time before they can do that. And then, then maybe some spots open up, but for sure, uh, again, the headline here, Ricky Venasco pitcher relief pitcher, most likely added to the Dodgers today, a one-year contract, major league contract. So taking up a spot on that 40 man roster, that is Scott Gearman. I am Jeff Spiegel. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you enjoy the rest of your day folks. And as always go Dodgers.